Hi guys, my name is Dan Cooper. Uh, finally getting around here to making my first machining related gun or YouTube video. Uh, I've been watching Tom Lipton, Keith Fenner, Keith Rucker, Mr. Pete, Adam Booth, all those guys, uh, James Kilroy, NYC CNC, all of those guys in this this uh, YouTube machinist community. I've been watching y'all for oh, pretty close to a year now, and uh, guys, you're awesome. Uh, you don't even know how much it means to us amateurs out here that are just doing this for a hobby, doing it for fun, and have guys like you out there that are willing to share what you know with us to help us out. And, uh, you know, I know I've left comments and messages with all of you thanking you, but thank you again it's awesome and uh, so I'm just a, a hobbyist I like playing around with lathes I like guns a lot of this if I you know get a good response from this video I'm gonna keep making videos uh, you know, could be machining videos, could be gun videos, could be a combination of both. That's kind of what I'm about. That's what I like. Uh, the video quality, I don't know how good it's going to be. I'm not a video editor. I'm not a cameraman. But, you know, I'll do my best to make it as entertaining and as easy to watch as possible so all that being said project I'm working on right now uh, like I say I, I'm a gun guy got a lot of guns do a lot of shooting and uh, I've got several 22s and Several years ago, I bought a, a little Savage Mark II, a little bolt action 22, and I love that gun, but I just, I wasn't happy with the factory sights on it. Uh, so I found some aftermarket sights that were made for that gun, and I love them. They're a, an aperture type or peep sight. You know, they, the things are awesome. They work great. So I decided to try to put these same sights on a couple other of my guns. So I've got a little Remington 582-22 that was my dad's. Uh, he bought this new in 1969 and uh, it's a good little gun. He let me start shooting it when I was old enough to start shooting and kids being kids going out beating around in the woods. The sights got messed up so I put a set of these sights on it that I like. The only problem is being made for the Savage, uh, the sight alignment, the height between the front and rear sight isn't the same on this gun as it would be on the Savage. And in order to have this thing sighted in at 50 yards, I have to have the rear sight raised up farther than what I want it. It limits my ability to raise it up and shoot farther out. So what I need to do is to make a shorter front sight. And all this front sight is, 
see if I can get it in the camera here. This is, well, where am I at? There we are. This is the base. And if you can see, the pin in the middle is the actual sight. And it's just a, a, just a pin that sets down in there and it's locked in with this set screw right here. So all I need to do is make another one of those that's just a little bit shorter. Uh, I haven't taken the actual measurements yet. I'll do that here in a minute. But just make another one of those that's a little shorter, put it in there, and I should be able to lower my front sight down at 50 yards, or my rear sight at 50 yards down where I want it. And that'll give me room then to raise it up to shoot farther out. So, uh, the first thing I need to do here is to get this, uh, take a measurement on this rear sight and uh, I'll shut the camera off while I do that because it's going to be hard to do and keep in the camera. But I'll shut the camera off while I do that and then I'll come back and we'll get started making a sight. Sight out. Uh, measured things. Uh, I need to make it 85,000 shorter than what it is. And I also, uh, the very tip of it there, I want it, that's 52 thousandths wide. I want to narrow that up to 40 thousandths so that it doesn't cover up as much of the target when you're aiming and give you a little better sight picture. Now, I could just take and grind 85 thousandths off the end of this thing, but I don't want to do that. The reason being, this thing's black, and sometimes it's hard to see, and yeah, I could put some white paint on it or something, but I don't want to do that either. What I'm going to do is make it out of brass, just because I like the way brass looks on the gun, and it shows up good, polish it up nice, it, you know, it catches light, and it shows up really good. So that's what I'm going to do, just make a new one out of brass. Everything is going to be pretty much the same. It's just going to be 85 thousandths shorter and 12 thousandths thinner on the tip. So let me get set up here, find a piece of brass and uh, we'll get started. Alright, I got me a little chunk of brass here chucked up in the lathe. Uh, cut it close to the final length but uh, left a little room to bring it down to the, what I need. Uh, first thing I need to do, I need to face this end off oh, maybe another sixteenth or so and then I need to turn it for the bottom end of the sight. Uh, that needs to be 158 thousandths diameter and 316 thousandths long. So I'm going to turn that first, then I'm going to turn it around and I'll do this other end once I get the bottom of it done. So here we go. This is my little El Cheapo uh, Harbor Freight 7x10 lathe and uh, I don't know it ain't much but it does what I need it to do.
that's going to be close enough there. I'll back this up out of the way. I'll make sure I've got enough hanging out here to get my uh, 316 thousandths. just barely got enough there uh, we'll move this out just a little bit Okay, there I got about 400 hanging out. That'll be plenty. Come down here. Try to put a mark here about 316 so I know when I'm getting close. And this isn't a real critical measurement, it's just got to stick down in there long enough for that set screw to catch it and hold it in. As long as I'm within a few thousandths on it, it's not going to be a big deal. Most important thing is how much sticks up past this. I'd rather have it a little short on this end, a little long on the other. It's easy enough to take a little bit off of the other end. going on here calipers acting all stupid recheck this here quick okay yeah it's good all right here we go Come in here and touch off. I'll make a clean up cut here.
Okay, I'm at 491. Take 491. 316. So, I got to turn that to 185 thousandths. So, I got to take uh, 306 thousandths off of it. Zero my dial here. That should have been a hundred thousandths. Yeah, it was actually a hundred and eleven. So we're at three ninety. So I need to take another, or no, we're at three eighty. So I need to take about another seventy four thousandths. No. I'm having a stupid attack. Need to take two hundred and twenty two thousandths. There should have been another hundred. 
check it again. We're at 282. I need another hundred and twenty-four thousandths to come off. Okay, we're at 201. So 40. Forty three thousandths to go. Seventy one. Need thirteen thousandths yet. There's 161, so we still need three thousandths.
see how it came out. Well, I don't know if you can read that. We're right at 158, 158.5. Right where I wanted to be now. I'm going to check the length on here. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here. This caliper keeps acting stupid now all of a sudden. I'm getting 171. Let me get a mic out.